know what you say, May Plaza. Do you need more room? <laughs> May Plaza. Yeah, May Plaza. Uh, this is my doctor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she is the elf that came up. These are my parents, uh, Jean and Paul Schneck, and I'm Darlene Schneck. And we're about to talk about Pennsylvania Dutch sayings from Lehigh County and Merks County, Pennsylvania. My name is Jean Schneck. I'm married to Paul. My father was born in Upper Milford Township, Lehigh County, in 1898. Uh, a Mennonite. My mother was born in 1895 in Hereford Township, Berks County, and she was a Schwenkfelder. My name is Paul Schneck. I was born in Rising Sun, part of Lehigh County. My parents were Norman Schneck. He was born in 1903. My mother was Miriam Lochner Schneck. She was born in 1904. My dad was born in Rising Sun and my mother was born in Schnecksville. And what was their first language? Their first language was Pennsylvania German. And when they went to their one room schoolhouses, they had to learn English. My parents were both uh, Pennsylvania German or Pennsylvania Dutch, with whatever term you want to use. Um, I've heard them speak since birth in, in Dutch, uh, but they also taught me English uh, that when I went to school, I didn't. I knew English really well. Uh, my parents, they had to learn English going, when they went to school. And uh, they did well with English. They always spoke to us in English and we would answer in English. And in that way, we uh, cannot really speak the language like we should, but we're learning. And how about you, Dad? How did you learn Pennsylvania Dutch? Well, we, we listened to my parents. They never spoke it to us. And they didn't realize that we could understand it because from them talking together all the time, we learned most of it. We couldn't speak it real well. So we can go to Lancaster County and understand those people real well. And they're amazed at that. Did, did your relatives speak Pennsylvania Dutch like when you got together? When, when my parents and their families got together, the, the, the older people would speak Pennsylvania Dutch together. That's, that's how we hurt them through the years. And same with you, Mom, all your relatives? Yes, they did. What kind of sayings do you remember your parents saying? And you can kind of take turns. Why don't you okay, share a few, Dad, and then well, Mom can share a few. Some things are meant to be a little funny. So. You can't take some of these things seriously and they made fun of the when they when they took it back into English, like for instance they had they'd say Schmeisty key ibit defend some hoy. Well in in English it sounded funny, they'd say throw the cow over the fence some hay. So that was funny. <laughs> um my stepmother used to say sign it bong. One bong bish bish kabutta. That means don't be afraid. If you're afraid, you'll be beat. Uh, there was a saying, V Gates. You'd say, Well, V Gates, how are you? And then the funny part, some would say, The heck with the gates, may jump, jump the fence. They say, The heck with the gates, will jump the fence because they're making fun of the word gates. Uh, Lloyd, my brother, really liked this saying. Uh, he said it in Lancaster County when, when we went down there to go to a smorker sport. And um, everybody in the store laughed. Uh, the coup is ever 
the fence took and huts crop for house. The cow jumped over the fence and spoiled the cabbage. Uh, and another one that I heard my parents say was Dum Gabor and Nix Tsugalan. Born dumb and didn't learn anything after that. <laughs> uh, when my children were little, I used to say this to them, and I think to this day they remember it. Uh, it's called Riley Gali Ivadagrava False Do Nai No Mush Do's Hava. You hold the child on, on your lap and you say righty golly and you put your your legs up and down and then uh when you say Ibadagrava that's over the ditch and you put your legs apart and then they kind of fall down. <laughs> Here's another phrase. Kunch du Mikafanga midden shupkarich. That's can you catch flies with a wheelbarrow? And some would say, "Y'all, once he hook up live, yes, if they keep sitting." And then they'd say, "Kunch du dite schwetzer," and then you'd say, "Net zu viel, aber du kunst mich net verkaufen." They'd say, "Can you speak Pennsylvania Dutch?" No, but you can sell me. Okay, another one is. Some would say, "What's come a do?" Cigarette smoke and hoosta. They'd say, what can you do? You can't do anything about this. So smoke a cigarette and cough. <laughs> My father repeated this saying, and I know he would watch uh, to see uh, how the sun would go down on a Sunday evening. So he said, Bondi Sun Gate. Uh, no, 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 of an Sundog, no, but when they, they luft when the sun is road, then rare by midwalk, no, but in other words, if the sun goes down and the sky is red on a Sunday evening, look for rain until a Wednesday night. No, do bish and glany nix nuts. Nick's notes. Okay, your little Nick's, Nick's notes. Kind of naughty, kind of restless, kind of into everything, not really listening. It would be kind of for fun and yet meaning. Uh, an armor drop is kind of a humble, kind of poor, and a kind of a person that, that you feel pity for. Because I knew some people in the neighborhood. And they would say, oh, it's an orma drop. Now, what was the saying that you didn't know what it meant? It says, may have filleted. You don't know what that means? No, I don't know what filleted means. What does the rest of it mean? But that's just it. I, it says, may have filleted. It's, it's, it's kind of like you dread me. something. And who said that? My mo mother said that quite a bit. They're tired of something. I am just me up a lady. No, no, it was more something that was coming. Something they had to do, something they had to go through, or just, yeah, she said that quite a bit. Dad, I want you to tell the story about old Charlie the carpenter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, tell that story again. When I was a young boy, on our farm, an old Pennsylvania Dutch carpenter was repairing the front of our farmhouse. And I was out there as a kid and this old Pennsylvania Dutch sawing a piece of wood on the, on the horses. He sawed this piece of wood and he's saying, Zwei mal ab schnitter, schnitter und noch zu katz. Zwei mal ab schnitter und noch zu katz. He cut it off twice and it's still too short.
Thank you.